In this video, you're going to learn how to add team members or staff to any page on your website, as well as edit and delete specific elements within that team section. So we're starting from our main dashboard and what we want to do is go ahead and select a website to start editing. I'm going to be editing sportsfootage.com. So I'm going to click on this globe icon under my websites. Now under pages for my website, I'm going to select the about us template that I'm going to be editing because I want to add the team section to that page. So as you can see, we have an image, we have some text on this page. We also have an image gallery, but we don't currently have a team section. What we want to do is navigate to the right side of the screen, come up to the menu that says other links. Let's go ahead and click on that. And under page settings, let's click on this icon that says display. Now here you're going to see a variety of different sections, only a few of which are actually active on this page. Under the testimonials section, we can see that we have team and staff. Let's go ahead and unselect that so it's no longer hidden. What that means is that this section is going to appear on our page after we click save. So we're going to come up to the top of this display content area and click save. Now, as you can see, if we scroll down, we have a new staff and team section that was added to our page. And following these steps will work on any page coming up to the other link section, going to display and then making sure that this template here is active. So if you want to edit the text at the top here, you're just going to want to hover over it. You'll see that it is now surrounded by an orange box as well as an orange option menu. We want to click on this T symbol, which is going to allow us to edit this text. After clicking on that, you will see on the right hand side of the screen, the content text you are now able to change. So we could change it from staff and team, our team. Now, if we want to save those changes, just always remember to come up and click save. Now to add images or customize this, you're going to want to hover over the first image here and go ahead and click the image styling button. Now that's going to bring up a styling bar on the right hand side of the screen. We can scroll down and click within this media option placeholder so that we can change the image. Now you have the option to add a new image here. Now we're going to be able to add a name for our image. So go ahead and put the team members first and last name just to help with SEO purposes. And we're going to go ahead and choose a file for this image. Now I just have a sample face here that I'm going to be opening up. So I'm going to click on that, press open. And the next step is I need to click this upload image button. After clicking that image, it will upload to the software and then to save these changes, I'm going to go ahead and click preview. As you can see, that image has now added to the team and I'm going to briefly show you how to stylize this a little bit more. So we're going to hover over it, go and click image styling. And now you can see that menu bar pop up again for image styling. If we come down to the media options, You'll have the ability to rotate this image slightly if you wanted to offset it a little bit. You can increase or decrease the opacity of the image, increase the contrast, change the hue of the image. You could saturate him a little bit more, increase the brightness, right? Which looks great if the image is a little on the darker side. And there's a variety of other border options and radius options that you can play with. We do go further in depth on how to stylize images, add borders, um, change the color and utilize all the features on this menu bar. But I encourage you to play with it, work with it, see how it can help stylize your images and check out that tutorial for further instruction. Once you're happy with how that image looks, you can go up and click again, save. On this menu bar, you will see that your entries have been saved. And now we can move on to customizing some of this text. All right. So we can hover over any of this text and again, click on that new text block icon. And here you'll be able to edit all of this text within this team sector. So you can change the position. You know, you can say he is, you know, an artist and his name is Picasso. And you can put his email address here for contact purposes, as well as a short one to two paragraph bio. All right. We don't need to include an entire page here. 
but just keeping things short and simple, you can add that there. As well as, you know, if you want social icons to appear, you can add a Facebook link, Instagram link, LinkedIn, and Twitter for each person here, okay? Once you're done, you can go ahead and click save to those changes. All right, and you will see that Picasso is now live and well. So let's talk about deleting certain team members or adding new ones. So the business might just be yourself and a single employee. In that case, what we want to do is get rid of this third team member. So we're going to be hovering over the outside border of either the image or text. You're going to see a blue box appear. And what we want to do is go ahead and delete this block. After clicking delete, you'll see that you only have these two team members and you can finalize editing this other one just as we showed you how to with the first example. Now, if we wanted to add team members, let's say we have four team members instead of three. Well, we can go ahead and look for that same blue border box around the entire subject and we want to click add new content here or we want to click this copy icon. After clicking that copy icon, you can see that you created a brand new team member template that you can go in and customize. Now you can copy each one of these. So if you have a team member where you've changed the style of the text, you've written a bio that's relevant, and you can take certain elements from what you've already edited and implement that into another team member. To save yourself time, you can copy any one of them to create a new team member. So hovering over that and clicking the add new content, you can see now that we created a fourth team member and it's going to add that to a new row. So you can really create as many team members as you want. If you're running a larger operation and you have upwards of eight team members, eight to 10 team members, you can continue to add new team members and it will just continue adding them further down the page. So to summarize, we went over how to add this section to any page on your website how to edit and customize this specific section, including the text and images, how to delete any team members, as well as how to add team members. Additionally, we covered how to edit and change this text up here. And if you haven't already, we would advise learning more about image styling and text styling by checking out those video tutorials.